joining us, the Copenhagen Wolves is Freeze and their coach, Dentist. You guys are in fourth place. Wow, what a game. Uh, Dentist, you uh, were walking towards me here on stage and you just went like, I, I don't even know what just happened. Can you make sense of it all? No, not yet. Like making sense of 70 minutes and almost like 700 farm, it's kind of hard. But, you know, we take the victory. We take it. <laughs> we take it. Well, of course you do. Um, actually, you mentioned it. Uh, Freeze was actually 10 CS short of breaking the record for a oh CS my in a single God. game. Yeah, it was, it oh was my a hard God. call along. It was, was a tough decision. I told him 10. I told him 10. And he was like, okay, should I go for the 10 CS or just win the game? And we decided to win the game. So. <laughs> no, I was like, Joey, do you need farm? <laughs> I will let you, I will let you, I, like I don't care. It was and exactly 10 minutes. And then I saw 10 minutes. <laughs> no, um, but and tell him, yeah, yeah, go they, ahead. They surrendered as well. I was like, I go for CS record, I go for CS <laughs> record, and then surrender instead of, I will get it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, is that, that's not the main thing you oh. take away from this. You guys are in fourth, but tell me about <laughs> the game, because a lot of CS, obviously, but you were 3-0 and o on Kalista and then 3-1, and one, like 10 minutes into the game. How come that didn't translate into a very strong mid-game anything? I think we were confident after the dive and we a bit screwed up on the, on the bottom when I died and didn't need to die. I would be free zero there. But it went real well for us. And then we were playing aggressive. I, I was playing a bit over aggressive <laughs> and the, the corky room wasn't called and I died for it. And from that was I, I was like, okay guys, take it slow. We do the long game as usually, and, and we will go for the victory. But a huge, a huge part of it was also elements playing. Yeah. Like they played it out pretty damn good. Although, despite being behind that far in the early game, they rotated pretty smoothly. They kind of read what we had in mind, so they played it out pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. Talking about like them playing it out well, what do you think about the Oriana, Oriana pick coming in for Frong again? We we expected the Oriana pick when we picked the Z. Like we first picked the Rexai and uh, banned the Lissandra to kind of deny the Z that they don't first rotate it because we knew that Frog plays it, and then we picked it up second rotation, and we knew if we pick the Z, he's going to go for the Oriana. Mm -hmm. um, Z actually tried to split push a couple of times, and it just didn't work out almost any time. He wasn't able to kill Wicked anymore. And did you guys adapt your game plan after seeing that? Because it kind of went into this mid game low where you guys try to go for Baron five or six times, and Elements just picked it up. Yeah, uh, that's season five. You gotta love it, right? But <laughs> well, I do. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah, me too, obviously. But <laughs> after they after they nerfed the hard engage a bit and took away our like main reason, may may thing to win the games with hard engage, we kind of thought about something different. And the split push it worked quite well in scrimmages. But this game, you gotta ask my boy what they did. <laughs> yeah, freeze. Go ahead. We choked. <laughs> 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 well, you didn't choke in the very last team fight that uh, actually gave you guys a game, so let's take a look at a replay of that one. For Dragon, another one of those fifth dragons. Talk me through this one, uh, Dentist. Yeah, as you can see, we see that th this is a very crucial uh, dragon. If they get the fifth buff again, then it's pretty much over for it. So we knew that we have to team fight, and the decision making was just perfect. Zone them away, and then you can see Kareem Awex going in for the clutch steal on it. And once they did that, Shook had to go out of position, gets popped up instantly, Wicked being just the brick in the front row. And we just went past Wicked, went for the carries, took them away, and then with like 70 seconds death timer, it's, it's just over. They can't do anything there. Yeah. Freeze, you're very silent. We're admiring your own position. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm still surprised it, it happened for us. I, I can't talk. Like I, When I see it, I just don't even know that we played like this and we, we won the team fight and we won the game. I'm still surprised. It was super crisp. 20 minute game. Boom. <laughs> in the back. <laughs> <laughs> no, but congratulations, you guys. in fourth here, amazing. Maybe talk to me a little bit about Elements play because reverting back to their own play style is maybe not what they need. Yeah, like I criticize it every time I've been here, honestly, like that I don't like the passive play. And I think that um, I think CW kind of does what Elements is supposed to do. They have carries coming in and they actually play towards their carry role and the supportive cast of, of CW, which is like Youngbug, Airwax and Unlimited, they actually play towards that position too. Whereas I feel like Wicked doesn't doesn't really know where he is right now. I think the shot cutting overall doesn't know where it is right now. And the carries themselves don't really prioritize what they have to do, which is actually acquire a gold lead through aggression, aggression instead of uh, picking stuff, in, stuff like Oriana and basically AFKing in mid lane. Absolutely, I agree. but. It wasn't just our two carries, Soren and um, yeah, Freeze, winning the game. If you look at the end game strats, Youngbot, he did like crazy <laughs> amount of damage, and yeah. his team fight zoning, his team fight positioning, it was just clutch. Yeah. Despite that one ultimate in bot. Yeah, fourth place for you guys, but the biggest takeaway: Freeze didn't get that record. 
Uh, I will be next time. Joy gets no farm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you guys very much. Congratulations! What a win here for you guys. Coming up in just a few minutes is our final El Clasico match of the spring split that will put one team in first place and leave the other chasing them in the standings. Don't touch that browser. We'll be back in three and a half. Because I'm going to yeah. flex my muscles today on the rift. Really? <laughs> you know, like it's, I, it's flex zone time. I, I, I'm wearing this shirt, man. It doesn't show off my abs. I have to. Oh my god! If I tuck it in, they don't back. see it. It's fine. I didn't, mean, I didn't mean literally, I just meant... But I am. We've all split, however, Youngbuck's in the middle, Froggen is going down, it's Youngbuck that picks him up, Krepo with the Zanya's Hourglass, all of a sudden it's still a 4v4, looks like, make that a 4v3. No QSS and Kalista. I can go on Lulu a bit. Nice! nice. I'm going Kalista, 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 Good job. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Nice. Get him nice. Go, 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 go. Keep going. Splashes away from the Maelstrom Soren, though. Picks up Krepo and all the confusion. Froggen, he's going to land oh! a massive shockwave. That could be the fight for Elements. Nice. Nice. Shook, okay. shook, shook. Not... Shuk. Going to the Krepo, 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 Froggen. Froggen. And the Wolves have outlasted again. They take down Elements.